Throughout history, the battlefield has seen many warriors, but only a few have left an indelible mark on the sands of time. These individuals or groups, through their courage, skill, and often sheer brutality, have shaped not just the outcome of battles, but the very course of civilizations. Today, we explore the top 10 most feared and deadly soldiers from various epochs and cultures, whose indomitable spirit and martial prowess have etched their names in history. From the sun-baked deserts of Persia to the cold, windswept plains of Mongolia, we'll journey across time and continents to uncover what made these warriors the stuff of legends and nightmares. Picture the dusty plains of ancient Greece. Two armies stand poised, a clash of bronze and flesh about to commence. On one side, a vast horde. On the other, a smaller force, their shields held high. These are the Spartans, the most feared warriors of their age. This is the phalanx, a seemingly impenetrable wall of shields and spears. From the rugged mountains and sun-drenched deserts of Persia arose an empire unlike any the world had ever seen. The Achaemenid Empire, stretching from the Indus River to the Aegean, was a testament to Persian might. At its heart stood the Immortals, the elite fighting force of the Persian kings. Their name, shrouded in legend, instilled fear and awe. Masters of bow and blade, they could rain arrows or engage in deadly close combat. These warriors stood against the Greeks at Marathon, Thermopylae, and Plataea. From the rolling hills of Italy to the sun-baked sands of Judea, the Roman legions marched, their sandals pounding out the rhythm of conquest. But who were these men who carried the Roman eagle to the ends of the known world? At their head stood the centurions, the officers who embodied Roman military might. The centurion led from the front, his courage a beacon to his men. From the icy fjords of Scandinavia emerged tales of warriors so fierce they seemed more beast than man. These were the berserkers, Viking shock troops who fought with terrifying fury. Imagine the chaos of a Viking raid. Longships emerged from the mist, their prows carved into fearsome beasts. Warriors on board, faces twisted into masks of rage, adorned with symbols of their gods, clad in animal skins, bodies coated in oil, lost to a battle trance. The clang of steel on steel, the thunder of hooves, the sight of armored knights charging into the fray. These images define medieval warfare, where kingdoms hinged on the courage of mounted warriors. Knights were bound by codes of chivalry and honor, products of a complex social system. From age seven, boys trained as pages, learning war and courtly conduct. As squires, they tended armor and weapons, learning from their knights. Finally, they underwent the sacred knighthood ritual, receiving armor and sword. From the ashes of the Byzantine Empire arose the Ottoman Empire, a vast realm that straddled three continents. At its heart stood the Janissaries, a unique force. Taken as boys, they were molded into instruments of war, converted to Islam, trained in war and loyal to the Sultan. Masters of musket, scimitar and bow, they were a deadly force. For centuries, they were the Sultan's most trusted warriors. In the land of the rising sun, where cherry blossoms bloom and snow-capped mountains pierce the sky, a warrior class arose, steeped in tradition and honor. These were the samurai, governed by the Bushido Code, emphasizing loyalty, courage, and self-sacrifice. The sword was an extension of the warrior's soul. Masters of the katana, they were skilled horsemen, archers, and swordsmen. From the vast windswept steppes of Central Asia, a new power arose stretching from the Pacific Ocean to Europe. At the helm stood Genghis Khan, a brilliant strategist and ruthless conqueror. Imagine a vast horde of horsemen, their arrows darkening the sky. Masters of mounted archery, they fired with deadly accuracy at full gallop. They were the terror of their age, whispered from China to Vienna. In the rugged canyons and sun-baked deserts of the American Southwest, a warrior culture thrived. The Apache, masters of guerrilla warfare, fiercely resisted settlers. Imagine a land of towering mesas, deep canyons, and scorching deserts. This was the homeland of the Apache. Led by figures like Geronimo, they became symbols of resistance. The scarlet coats of the British Army struck fear into enemies and inspired awe in allies. These disciplined redcoats shaped history with their formations and devastating volleys. Imagine a battlefield shrouded in smoke, thick with gunpowder. 
A line of red emerges, boots keeping time with the drumbeat. The redcoats were the backbone of the British Empire, felt globally. These warriors, separated by time and geography, each represent the pinnacle of military prowess in their respective cultures. They were the tip of the spear, the embodiment of their society's martial values, and their stories continue to fascinate and inspire us today. Their legacies, etched in the annals of time, serve as a reminder of the human capacity for both great courage and terrible violence. Which of these legendary soldiers fascinates you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below.